Today we are taking a trip on Myanmar Airlines, one of Asia's most secretive carrier. But we also used the opportunity to see what it's really like on the ground in Yangon after the country's military coup and the nationwide protests. I was in for a couple of surprises, made some new friends and got to experience an airline just a few of us get to fly. Join me on a trip to Myanmar. So guys, a beautiful good morning from Vietnam. Today we are flying to Myanmar. Let's do this. So guys, and here we are at the international airport. So let's check in for our flight on Myanmar Airways to Yangon. The airline is serving a couple of destinations within Asia, such as Hanoi, Bangkok, Seoul, India and even reaches as far as Dubai. This year, Myanmar Airways is celebrating a 30th anniversary. Congratulations! So, all checked in for the business class experience. I was also told that I'm the only passenger traveling up front uh, today. Um, all you need to show is your visa, your e-visa, which you need from Myanmar, as well as proof of insurance, which you have to purchase in order to get the visa. So, have it both uh, printed out. Uh, Myanmar is also a new country for me. No idea what to expect, um, but I'm sure we're gonna find out. So now, let's head to the gate. Also a huge shout out to Sky Pacific Ground Handling in Hanoi for helping me to put this trip together. But now let's head to the gate and let's get a first glimpse of today's plane that will take us to Myanmar. I am very excited to try this out. And there she is, the Airbus A319. Originally delivered to Avianca Brazil in 2012, the plane found a new home in Myanmar in 2019 and has been flying for the airline ever since. It's also the backbone of their fleet with currently four planes of this type in service. So let's go on board. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jerry. And here we are, welcome on board Myanmar Airways in business class, featuring eight recliner seats in a 2-2 configuration. It does look a bit dated, but perfectly fine and comfortable for a two-hour flight to Rangoon and a lot better than anything you see in Europe. I also had a quick look at the economy class cabin which comes in a standard 3-3 configuration with 132 seats in total. How would you rate the cabin? Let me know in the comment section below. Alright, thank you very much. So, there we go. Got my welcome drink, uh, orange juice and I was also handed the menus. But now let me give you a quick little seat tour. The only feature really worth mentioning is the table kept in the armrest as well as the footrest you find down below in front of you. There is no personal entertainment screen on this plane, but you can always browse the in-flight magazine in front of you. Do you ever read them? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, a Coke. Yeah. My food order was taken by the crew, the jet bridge was attached, the safety demo was on the way and we were pushed back for a two hour flight from Vietnam to Myanmar. But this perhaps now is a great opportunity to hit that subscribe button for your weekly dose of aviation content. So and here we are, uh, good 20 minutes into the flight, uh, the dining experience starts with a starter, it's some sort of salad, I think it's a chicken, chicken Caesar salad, something like that, looks pretty good in presentation, crew is really lovely, 
and I'm definitely gonna steal one of the soul shakers here because that is gonna go into my collection I don't tell anyone eh? <laughs> all right let's dig in so and we are on to the main course uh, chicken rice um, and uh, looks pretty promising so uh, let's dig in I know you guys are always angry with me when I don't eat my greens so I'm gonna do it for you guys right in front of the camera but I do expect a comment in return and giving me some credit that I do finally eat my vegetables a nice chunk Can I also say that this is one of the best bowls of rice that I've ever been served on an airplane because usually, you know, with rice, it gets very dry, but this is nice and sticky, just the way I love it. And anyways, I'm a huge fan of Asian food. I think my diet is 90% Asian food. And uh, I mean, technically, I spend most of my adult life in Asia. And even my friends, they call me an egg. White on the outside. <laughs> yellow on the inside but I've learned a few terms a banana is a Asian person that grew up in the w in the West and then there's a coconut a brown person that acts like a white person <laughs> so I'm just wondering how would you call a white person that acts like a brown person <laughs> let me know in the comment section below yeah actually I can't think of anything you got an egg we have a banana, we have a coconut. Can't think of a fruit that is white on the outside but brown in the inside. Random topics we talk about today, isn't it? <laughs> Dessert was served, which was great, followed by a hot towel. But I had a quick look at the loo and it was very well maintained and super clean. So huge thumbs up from me. Afterwards, I went back to the cabin and asked the lovely crew for a quick selfie before heading back to my seat in preparation for landing. So let's see what the experience on the ground is like considering the difficult political situation at the moment. And here we are, welcome to Rangoon International Airport Terminal 1 which handles all international flights. The structure is fairly new and was opened in 2016, handling roughly 4 million passengers a year before the military coup. Unfortunately, tourism hasn't recovered yet due to the political situation. And you go home now, yeah? Yes, go home now. And tomorrow? Uh, uh, yes, well, we have flight. Uh, I have flight to uh, uh, Chennai. Chennai to... Chennai? Oh, yes. India? Yes, India. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. It's a long flight, right? Uh, no, no long oh. flight. It's uh, maybe five hours, two hours, or 30 minutes. Yes. Oh, okay. Right. Hello. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, here we are. Welcome to Myanmar. Excited. <laughs> Cleared immigration, no issues. They're so friendly, the immigration officers. Very lovely. The airport looks very modern as well. Um, and we hear a lot of stories about uh, Myanmar. Um, but everything so far, absolute bliss. Apart from the shaman uh, advertisement. But then, you know, <laughs> can't have it. Can't have it all, no? But before we go out there, let me show you how I used artificial intelligence to plan my trip in Myanmar. Magic reached out to me and said, hey Josh, can you use our AI travel assistant for your next trip? And I said, guys, these things only work at mainstream places like London, New York, or Paris. Not if I go to Myanmar and Yangon. They said, Josh, don't talk, just try. Magic is a magical tool, helping you to put together a great customized itinerary without doing all the research by yourself, even in places that are off the beaten track, such as Myanmar. It can find places to eat, whether you want to try local food or just KFC, museums and all the other major sites. It even tells you how to travel in between those places. It also helped me to find the ideal hotel for me, including reviews from previous guests. And that's how I found mine. It's definitely a game changer for me. 
Yeah, magic is a pretty awesome tool. I use it now for all my trips and even though I don't follow it one by one, it still gives me great, great suggestions for what to do and what to see and where to eat uh, on my upcoming trips. It's absolutely for free. So check out the link in the description box below or in a pinned comment and also take advantage of their great uh, hotel deals that they have. So it's a really cool assistant which you should make part of your travels as well. Now let's go and finally explore Myanmar. Um, I need to go to the yeah. Lotte. Yeah, it's the hotel, sir. Lotte, yeah, hotel. Okay. Where do you go? Three minutes, sir. And here outside? Yeah, outside. There is our star guy, sir. Ah, oh, the guy will the help me. Oh, yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. That's you, right? Uh, seven, eight. I then took an Uber from the airport to the hotel, which took roughly half an hour, and my driver turned out to be a tour guide as well. I asked whether he can take me around the city tomorrow, to which he happily agreed. He shared some great insights with me about the current situation and said there's almost no tourism these days and many people lost their jobs due to the military coup. Awesome. Okay, but more so about much. that tomorrow. Yeah, uh, message me, huh? And then yeah. we, uh, okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi, thanks, sir. Is this your first time here, sir? Yeah, my first time to uh, Myanmar. Myanmar? Yeah. Also first time to this hotel? First time to this yes. hotel as well, okay. yes, yes. Thank you, thank you very much. Where do you come from, sir? Uh, originally from Germany. Germany? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. One zero one five, so. I think so, yes. So and here we are to the Lotte Hotel in Yangon, Myanmar. It looks beautiful. The whole property is very, very nice. Um, general, like my first impression of Myanmar is everyone is so kind, everyone is so loving. They love cameras. Everyone is like, oh, you vlogger, this is so cool. And uh, you know, in a country where there is a military government. You would think like cameras and apps would no go and they might be very close-minded here or very cautious about these kind of things but now see polar opposite well like let me give you a quick room tour as well massive bed um my my desk tv and a beautiful beautiful bathroom here as well there we go welcome to myanmar um i'm gonna get some rest now in then uh, tomorrow, and I, oh, maybe you have a nice view as well. Probably a lot nicer um, during the day. But tomorrow, I'm gonna go explore the city a little bit. I take you with me, show you what it's like, and then the day after, we're gonna fly Myanmar Airways again. This time from here, I'm gonna show you the airport, their lounge, and uh, their onboard product. But so far. Also, really, really nice airline. But we'll see how the second flight goes, right? I right, this is it for now. I'm gonna go get some sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So guys, a beautiful good morning and I promised you a good view of the Golden Pagoda and this is where I'm gonna head now. I'm gonna uh, meet the driver from last night who uh, dropped me here at the hotel and now we're gonna go and explore. Young goon for a little bit. Let's go. I sit in the front, is okay? Okay. All right. How are you? Fine, thank you. You good? Hello, that's nice. You're good, I just went to sleep. Yeah, yeah. But careful only in Myanmar is that you cannot take photo of Just police and police and military, military right? Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've been to yeah. these countries and yeah, it's yeah. always the same. Yeah. All right, so let's not get in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no police here, no? no Just a block. Yeah. Just block. Yeah, just the blocks. They were here about two times already. No, you know. And lots of businesses people. came as well. Business right? also many, many yeah, yeah. business yeah. came in Korea, all like this, you know, yeah. Japanese. But now yeah. everybody uh, leaves close. again, right? Yeah, yeah, they leave back. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, it's a shame, no? It's like yeah. everything, everything was going and I, the whole world was very happy. Yeah. So yeah. Myanmar is open yeah. and progress and then bam, the good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's such a shame. No? Yeah, I saw her when the first KFC opened. KFC, yeah, yeah. yeah. All over the world, the yeah. news was yeah. like, yeah, Myanmar is opening, uh, KFC, KFC is coming, McDonald's is coming. Yeah, coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's it, that's why, yeah. Everyone was so happy in the world, yeah, right? Yeah, Everybody yeah. was like, oh, uh, Myanmar is becoming. And I haven't been here now 24 hours, I love it. Everyone is so lovely, and everyone is very kind, yeah, you yeah. know. And it looks very organized as yeah. well, I say, right? It looks very nice, but. But how do I say your name? Uh, latte. Latte. Oh, okay. Latte. You're pronouncing right. Like a coffee. Latte. Mr. Latte. Latte. Yeah. <laughs> Most German people, they call me like Mr. Latte. Latte. Yeah. There you go. And this is it, the beautiful golden pagoda. I've seen a lot of religious sites over the years traveling, but this is probably one of the most impressive. And everybody is so nice. Uh, as a foreigner, it costs you $5 to get in. I'm also the only white guy here. <laughs> There's no, no other foreigners here, but everybody is so kind, everybody is so nice, and it's just such a peaceful place. It's definitely a must-visit site when you come to uh, Myanmar. So this concludes my visit to the Pagoda Temple. I'm not a temple kind of guy. I'm dreading visiting ones because you've seen ones, you've seen all of them. But this one was really special. So, such an amazing energy around it. And people are so kind, everyone is really lovely. Nobody bothers you, everybody is in their own little zone. It's just a beautiful place. Make sure if you come here, you're gonna visit it. It's, it's a must see, it's an incredible place. Yeah. It's not but now closed. Oh, close, yeah. Because no tourists. <laughs> no tourists. <laughs> yeah. That's a general office. Yeah. Before we used, you know, the office, yeah. We then explored the rest of the capital and also drove past the Shangri-La Hotel which closed due to the political situation, resulting in thousands of people losing their jobs. It's a little sad to see that the will of a handful of people brings so much unfortunate to the ordinary citizen who are opposed to the current military ruling. And I really hope things go back to normal because from my experience Myanmar only deserves the very best. Hey, how are you? Very good. <laughs> And uh, then uh, I message you about tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. All right. It's time to leave this beautiful country. Let's head to the airport. How are you? Are you good? Yeah. How are you today? Fine. You good? You good? Yeah, good. <laughs> Ready to to leave. Yes. Hello, yesterday everything okay with uh, the uh, MBI? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Everything was okay. Yeah, blah, blah. Everything, was fine. <laughs> <laughs> everything was good. Uh, so we're heading to the airport once again with Latte. Latte, right? Latte. Latte. Yeah. Very good. And uh, I was just saying. He was looking after me uh, for the past two days. Randomly, he was my driver from the airport. Uh, we went exploring yesterday. So if you ever happen to come to Myanmar, which is a beautiful place and uh, worth exploring, it's so beautiful. I will put his number and your email yeah. down here. Yeah. And you can Thank help you. with everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Visa. I can make visa. Tours. Tours. Uh, the Attica. The hotel booking, hotel booking, the transportation, transportation. Yeah. That's perfect. So yeah. he is the guy. If you come to Myanmar, I can vouch for him. He is great. Has great stories to share. Very knowledgeable as well. So check out uh, his email or his WhatsApp and get in touch with him. And uh, I guarantee you, you will have a great time in Myanmar. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Welcome.
Welcome. How do you say welcome to me? Josobare. Josobare. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Thank you. Hi, it's Latte. Thank you so much. Okay. Eh? All the best. And nice to meet you. No, yeah, pleasure. Pleasure was all mine. Nice and I hope yeah. that people come and uh, book tours with you. Okay. okay? I hope you'll not call me uh, you too. Yeah, yeah, I will. I will. I will. Yeah. Eh? Thank you. Yeah, eh? yeah. you take Have a nice for Thank care. you. Thank you. Bye bye. Eh? Once at the airport, I went to the regular check-in counter, totally unaware that business class passengers have their own section at the end of the terminal. One of the check-in agents was nice enough to walk me to the premium counter and I was able to complete my check-in procedure. They also take your bag and the absolute best of all this was that you have your very own immigration counter as well as security checks. It all just took a few minutes and an elevator takes you right upstairs into a general lounge. Not bad, not bad if you ask me. So, and right now, the airport isn't very busy. I'm standing inside an abandoned Burger King, which probably was flourishing here um, a couple of years ago. But if there's one thing everybody had in common when I talked to them, they said they're all quite disappointed where the country is going because they said with the change of democracy, so much opportunities and investment came to the country and I think this Burger King pretty much stands testament for the situation they're finding themselves in right now. Really hope for positive change because Myanmar is beautiful, blessed with very kind people and as for everyone you just only want the best for them, right? But yeah, here we are. <laughs> Some people probably say, oh glad Burger King left. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is what it looks like right here. Everything has been removed, and uh, I don't know, perhaps they come back. But yeah, even if they come back, don't make it your diet. And this is today's plane, an Airbus A320, of which the airline operates three of them, flying me to Bangkok today. This one used to fly with the French airline Ec Azur, which went bankrupt in 2019. And here we are once again on board Myanmar's business class. Seats are almost identical to what I experienced on the Airbus A319, but just as comfortable. Once again, the crew was outstanding and I was handed a hot towel, the menus, as well as a welcome drink. The safety demo was shown and we were pushed back for an on-time departure. Today we are flying to Thailand's capital Bangkok and the flight time is roughly 1 hour and 20 minutes. Once we reached cruising altitude, I was served a hot meal. This time I tried the roasted chicken with mashed potatoes and some wonderful gravy sauce. Once again, the food was outstanding and their catering has been really great on both occasions. I also asked the crew for a selfie since they've been absolutely outstanding, kind and super professional. It's great whenever you experience a bunch of young individuals who are extremely passionate about their jobs. A huge thumbs up. Afterward, we started our descent into Bangkok, bringing my short Myanmar adventure to an end. It was also sad to witness Thai Airbus A380s to be still grounded in Bangkok. Asking you guys whether you know what's going to happen with them in the future. Please let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know. Thank you for everything, huh? Bye-bye. I see you. Back, huh? Bye. 
So just arrived at my hotel, DA Loft here in the heart of Bangkok with a beautiful view um, as well. And I'm gonna have the weekend here, so that's good. Before I'm gonna continue to China on Monday for a very interesting mission. Uh, that's gonna be very a lot of fun, so subscribe right now if you don't want to miss out on that. And um, yeah, Myanmar, the country, and the airline, just beautiful, outstanding. I really loved my time there. Everyone was super kind and I mentioned that many times. It's a place you should add to your list um, as well. And once again, also thank you Myanmar um, Airways for being such a great, professional, kind, and good-hearted airline. Like your staff, your crew on both flights, as well on the ground. Phenomenal. I really loved it. It's always nice when you find a little gem like Myanmar Airways and I really really enjoyed my time Guys, this is it, you know um, if you want to uh, Get access to some extra perks such as my uh, joining my whatsapp group have the Cahill key ring early access to my videos your name in the credits behind the scenes uh, Go check out the link in the description box below and this is it I'm gonna enjoy my time in Bangkok now, but not too much because on Monday I have to go and travel again. Guys, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of this trip and whether you liked uh, the behind the scenes, the travel in between, a uh, bit away from aviation and airports. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Guys, wherever you're off to, have a safe trip.